Hello friends, are you having problems knowing what to prompt? Don't worry, I got you covered. By the way, what did the cultured pirate steal? Art. So a user in my Discord posted this stable diffusion sheet sheet, and it's a collection of artists. The cool thing about this is that it's not just artists' images. It is the other way around. It is what Stable Diffusion interprets these artists' art as. These are all AI-generated images in Stable Diffusion. So if you put style by, well, for example, Alfred, Mike, or Amana, Yoshitaka, or whatever that comes up here on the, on the left, you will get images similar to what we're seeing here. We're seeing a Wes Anderson here on the screen, and if we click into that, you can see here's with the simple prompt style of Wes Anderson, you're getting those kinds of images. Now what's cool about this is if you're feeling low on inspiration or you're just doing the same old images over and over again, I do too, don't worry. But then you can just go in, find a style that you like, copy that or copy multiples and start working. I think this is a very cool. And as of right now, there are actually 706 styles put together. So just look at all of these cool examples. So let's take something at random here. Let's take this, for example, Francis Cattle. So if we take this and let's say cat in a hat style of Francis, what is Francis? Kettle? Francis Kettle, yeah. I'm just going to change this to DPM++2 Keras. We're running 20 steps and we're doing four images at 512 by 512. Maximizing this image again. And now without any complicated prompts, we're getting, let's look at the, the style here. So it's a sort of painterly style with a lot of blocky colors. And, you know, it's similar-ish. Pretty cool. Let's try something different. Let's see what else we can find here. Something that looks cool. So we have this uh, Richard Corbin that has a very specific style. So let's take that and let's put in man portrait style of Richard Corbin. We are generating four new images and it seems to be very close to what we have. Let's look at that one and compared to what we have here, I'd say the style is uh, very close. Now there's some about the info here that you can read. All the generations have been made with either Deliberate or Dream Shaper. Uh, I like the Deliberate myself. Now it, they said the sampler was uh, DMP here. What they mean is DPM uh, plus plus two in Keras, which is a great sampler, something I recommend as well. And there are some uh, tips and tricks here if you want to get some better results, but uh, you don't need to change much. It gets pretty good by default. Now here's a photography kind of style. Let's try that style of Ansel Adams. And let's change it into Renaissance woman portrait. Let's see what we get. Now we are getting that black and white style. Maybe the Renaissance influenced it a little bit. The colors especially aren't as good here. As you can see here, the gray or the contrast is, is, very, is very nice. Here it's um, it's not as beautiful. Let's tr let's go with style of Ansel Adams only and see what that gets us. Now I'm not using any negative prompts. We could try that and and see if that helps. But this is more what I'm talking about. This is contrast. This is a little closer to what we had here. Now we're running a woman portrait here, and we have the our default negative prompts here. These are actually very good i would say and these are just 512 by 512 let's run the same actually let's save this and compare and let's run the same seed and let's remove our negative prompts and run the four images again and let's compare if um, they're better or worse so on the left we have uh, the default negative prompts in on the right is uh, without the negative prompts. And while it's uh, two wildly different sets of women, one are young on the left and, and the right are older, I think in general the, the skin looks much more realistic on the left ones than the right ones. So I'd say the default uh, negative prompts uh, helped for sure. And if you want those, you can just find them in the video description. They'll be going to be down in the pinned comment too as well. Completely free. So go wild, check out all the cool options here.
pick something you like, mix, match, show me your best creations, and uh, have fun. There's not a lot more to talk about here, so um, hope you had fun. See you in the next video. Have a good one.